So what we do, guys, is that we're going to be working on some lettering today, some wire lettering. I do, um, for those of you who are not familiar, I have a product called Now That's a Jig. It's on sabbatical right now, but for those of you who don't have one, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be making a word love uh, just by bending wire against a pattern. Super simple. Um, Sarah, if she is still out there somewhere, is going to put the link up for this smaller one. Okay, so this smaller one here, doo, 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 doo. this one is the one that is on this fabulous pendant, this mixed media pendant. You can see it right here. We got, we got a whole melange of things. And um, so, so yes, yeah, so we're going to do that. Today we'll do this one, but if you wanted a little refresher how to do the smaller one, Sarah will put uh, this link up there as well uh, for last Thursday's show, okay? Otherwise, if the link's not there, uh, just go to Brenda Schwader Jewelry, and um, oh, here she's coming back. <laughs> Come on, Sarah. <laughs> Might be her internet connection. Um, um, we will... Uh, We'll get that off to you, okay? Or you could just look it up yourself. So I kind of just want to, let's do a top down. Oh, she's saying her devices aren't connected. She's trying to get back to us, <laughs> poor honey. Um, so let's go to, we're not gonna remove that one. Let's gonna go to this one and we're going to go this way here. Oh, it's still vertical, oh well. So you can see my lovely uh, setup here. And we can maybe let's try to get it down a little bit further. Uh, yeah. Okay. We can just work with it this way. You guys can see pretty good. So I kind of wanted to show you. There's also links that we're going to be posting uh, for Earth's Jewels. I am a uh, wire content provider for John Bead. And um, these are the, uh, this is the link. This is a separate link that's not in the kit. And so um, this is the, the green turquoise that we're going to be working with today. Um, we're also going to be working with some beautiful uh, four ply Irish wax linen that you can also get at Heather Power's site. She's just started to, um, to carry Irish wax linen. So I'm ha so happy about that. Um, and here's another link doo, 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 that you can get. Um, and this is a separate link. Here's Sarah. <laughs> I'm going to add her to the stream. There you are, Miss Sarah. You're back. I'm back. Yes. <laughs> do not know I, what happened. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well, we've, I've just been telling everyone all the links that you're posting. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, dear. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So good. I, 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 I feel like I shouldn't put you uh, down. Let's see if we can get you. Um, you're just going to do a solo. No, I don't want to do a solo layout. Okay. Uh, well, we're, you're just going to have to watch with me. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> so this is the, if you can kind of post the link for that Tohono Chul um, stream. That I, okay. You got those links that I sent you? Yes. And um, this link for the red foil, this is a Czech glass. It's silver foil inside, so gorgeous, from John Bead. And also, what else? Well, we'll remember. Oh, the Earth's Joe. Hi, Sybil. <laughs> Chattering in the background. Yeah, I, I might mute you a little bit, my love. <laughs> okay, yeah, sounds good. I can mute. unmute yourself if you need to. Okay. Sarah's uh, daughter is so scrumptious, um, but um, well, we need to concentrate on this right now. So anyway, here's Earth's Jewels. Uh, Sarah's going to put the, um, uh, the things on for that, this, the, um, the links on for that. And um, I just want to show you where I got this idea from. These were little pieces. Look at this. This is Choya Branch, you guys. And this is um what i'm I kind of look at this tiny tiny crystal you guys know that i don't do anything demure <laughs> at all um so but this was the inspiration for this project so i thought you might want to see that and these are really really cool this is a small choya branch um and what we're going to be working with is 
a little bit bigger one. So you guys, um, I'm not going to show you how to cut these out of the branches. Obviously, as they grow up, they get bigger. And this is just one wall of this. Um, but what I do is I seal them just with a mat uh, or a satin sealer um, just to kind of protect it a little bit more. And uh, you never know what's going to what's crawling out of these things. <laughs> Kidding. Um, this one's been uh, dead for a long time. So um, anyway, so um, also I want to let you know on those two versions of the kits, if you guys are interested, I'm just going to put this over here. Um, we are uh, we have um, some different choice and I'm just going to have to pick these for you. Some of them have knots in some of just different shapes and sizes, um, but all will be probably this size or smaller um, in case you're, um, uh, you know, wondering. All right. So let's go ahead and make that love. Here's I already made a small little love. And so we're going to put that kind of up to here so that I don't. Here's all of our pieces. But I want to show you how to do this um, texturing with these vintage blanks. This happens to be one of the wing ones. So this is one of the ones that will be there. And then we're going to put it all together, hopefully. God, Sarah, we got so much to do. Um, OK, if you're coming on late, we are doing a giveaway. Pick a number between 1 and uh, 200. All right. So. Um, I am going to, no, I don't want that there yet. Okay. What I want to do is, you know what, I'm going to come back to me solo because I'm just, I'm just doing this. So this is the bigger, uh, so you can see the scope. This is the bigger love. So we're going to be making some loves. <laughs> And you can see, see what we can do. This is, just happens to be a bigger one that we can use for home deck. Um, and I'll kind of show you what I did. With, I used this one. And just by folding it around this little planter here um, and kind of giving it just a little bit of a different squeeze. Isn't that cute? I love it. And I love how it has that little um, that little gold foil pendant there. Exclusive to John Beat, I believe. Okay. So let's take this over there and take this and get these off of here. Do, do, do. So much to do. And um, gosh, golly, golly. Just hoping that anyone else's screen frozen. I hope not. Hope not. Um, so let's go back down to here. Let's make it bigger so that... Um, that you guys can see what's going on but we're going to be doing this one and you might see here this black ring around here the original love which is a part of the template from brendaschwader.etsy.com just look for uh the now that's a jig templates there had only this one um but when we when i wanted to adapt it to add the heart to it you guys i wanted a bigger o so what i did was boom i wanted to put a little bigger hole in there as well. So we're going to put this off to the side. So I just grabbed, I think just for fun, we're going to work with some of this great aluminum wire. And Sarah's got the link for that as well, I think, Sarah. So this would be the link for all the wire. Down here, it's going to tell us, do we want, um, do we want the, uh, the uh, Hebo love or the Biddle love? <laughs> Um, and um, we're going to um, do the heap of love. So um, on the bigger one, uh, which is the senior, really, we're going to, it always tells you here, about 24 inches is what we're going to need for this. So I'm just going to lop off to like 24 inches of this wire. And we're going to get cracking here. 24 inches is probably way too much, you guys, but, you know. So because this kind of starts with a very small little end here, what I'm going to do, I actually like using these uh, memory wire cutters because they are a double flush cutter uh, as a shear. And I'm just going to take my round nose and I'm just going to make that first little guy right there. And I'm going to put my glasses on. All right. I'm going to go, 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 go. 
And there I have my first little loop. It's actually a little bit too big, but that's okay, right? So all I'm going to be doing is just following this along, you guys. And the, what's great about working with aluminum wire is it's so bendable. We can just do this with our hands. So all I'm doing is just kind of like holding, holding, and forming down. See how easy that is. And then I'm just going to kind of work here, just holding it. This is where the jig is really nice because all of this setup, all of these uh, colorful um, rounds right here are really set up. Those are um, different sizes of pegs for those of you who aren't familiar. <laughs> this is pretty interesting here because I am actually whoop, working around all of my equipment with this big long piece of wire. It's great. <laughs> all right. And we're going to bring it down here. If, if we get a, some little kinks and stuff, you guys, in here, we can always kind of go back and, um, and work those out. But once I get this where I want to, then I'm just going to put that off there and do this. It's actually kind of comical because I have all this stuff hanging off of um, off of my easels and stuff like that. <laughs> all right. This is really good for your finger strength. <laughs> and if you did see Thursday's broadcast, it was kind of fun because, um, you know, this isn't a perfect circle, but we, what we could do is we could go back and put this uh, onto some sort of a, um, uh, you know, hoop mandrel or something like that. Now here, I'm kind of getting, I need to get pretty close in there. You can see I'm not getting close enough. So I'm just going to grab my brown nose pliers and I'm get back in there and make that a little tighter, right? I can do that and then I'm going to go back down to my pattern. I can actually even get it even tighter in there. There we go. And you know what? If it's not perfect, that's okay too. So I'm just going to go here. I'm going to mark this with my pliers, swing it around. And come up. All right. I'm just checking and seeing if I had any. Oopsie. You see here, I'm having just it's a little bit um, uneven, but I'll show you how to fix that. So it's good for me to make the mistakes here. I'm just marking that and I'm going to come back down here. And we're going to go so. Now, if you happen to want to do this with um, wire that's not as, um, as soft as this, you can see how easily I'm manipulating this. We can get in here with a, a bail making pliers. This one happens to be from um, John Bede as well. And, and, you know, depending on the round that you want, look at that beautiful, beautiful round that we're going to get in there. cute. And then here too, I could have used this for this one. I can grab it and put it in there, hold on to it and form that around that beautiful mandrel then. See how easy that was to just grab and manipulate like that. All right. So I'm going to bring this down. And down here, and grab it this and go back up. This one's a little more exuberant here. I gave myself a little bit too much room, but you know, they all have, they're all going to have their own personality, right? <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Grab my cutter because I want to get back in here. And get in there. You can see I'm using the back of my cutter and doing that. So I had talked about this not being like exactly how I want it. So what you can do, guys, is just grab any kind of like a flattened nose pliers or a chain nose pliers, and I'm just going to gently just do that nudge, 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 and straighten that out. Look how simple that was. I'm going to go up on this other side of this V, and just be careful. I mean, the enamel on this uh, is actually pretty hardy, which I was really surprised about, but... Um, you don't want to uh, take the enamel off by being too, um, too crazy with it, right? And so there you go. And so basically you're doing the same thing, right, with this little one. And that's what we ended up with is a little bit of that color love. This is, I believe, the lilac color. Um, and I made a smaller one. Ah, actually, this, these are two different colors. That's kind of fun, though. They kind of look nice together. So I just wanted to show you uh, quickly how to put this on here so that you can do, um, you know, each one the way you want it. And let's do it in a, in a different coordinating. You would do it with this, uh, with this color wire, but I do want to show you just it's for demonstration purposes uh, how to go ahead and do that. You're just going to probably work with like, four to six inches of wire here. And all I'm doing here is I'm going to go through here and I'm going to make a little bit of a bobby pin, just kind of a loop like this. Okay, so super simple. I'm going to put it here and I'm actually going to take a stitch or two or three. So we can see how this goes. And don't worry if your coils aren't perfectly aligned. Let's grab that chain nose here. And I just go around like two or three times. Before I do my my chopping right so you can probably see pretty well how this goes so Sarah I think you can put um, the um, the link to the aluminum wire too if you haven't already done that how's that okay, working I, I did put the 12 gauge and the 18 I'm not sure oh, which great. one you wanted up okay. I know we have a few questions of which one you is better to use um, so you guys, this bigger one is the 12 inch for, I like this 12 inch for, or 12 inch, 12 gauge for the bigger. And I like the 18 for smaller, but I'm also using the 18 to put, uh, put the connection on. Okay. There's only two, two, um, two gauges for aluminum, Sarah, but it's like, I can even do an 18 gauge ear wire with this aluminum. I can't, I can't believe it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm going to freak you out because we have, we would never do that with steel. <laughs> right? I know. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. So I was like, I don't know. This just doesn't look like true 18. And so I tried it. <laughs> my ear my ear was the the uh the guinea pig ear guys. So <laughs> So I'm just I'm just kind of just grabbing, you know, cutting these close. And then you're just going to want to just, you know, kind of just burnish them. Again, be a little gentle with that. You don't want it to be poking you when you're using, especially if you're not using this for home deck. You know, if you're a little bolder like I am, you might wear this bigger one as a pendant. Um, and then uh, it might be it might be a little too much. So I'm just burnishing these ends in just so, yeah, so they're, they're nice and hidden kind of making my coils. Well, that might, Sarah, that might be the prettiest coil I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oops, but it's on the wrong okay. side. <laughs> okay. Now so we're just going to move that around to the other side. <laughs> 
That's so cute though. I like it. I like the, I like the, oh heck, let's give this one away too, huh? Let's, let's, let's do, <laughs> so Sarah's like, okay, stop changing the rules in the middle of it. <laughs> um, let's do four giveaways for these lovely people. Okay. okay. All right. So no more numbers. Keep your same numbers. Mm -hmm. I said no more, no more, no more. Don't everybody put in a second number. No, no, we're just going to use the numbers that we have. Yes, thanks, thanks for reminding me of that. Mm -hmm. Talked about it, and then boom. All right, so let's move this one off the side. So you guys, you could even put this on here. I'll kind of come up. Um, I did. I add. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> Oh, how much fun can one person have? Okay, so, so, so this is, you know, just a neck ring. This is another pattern template that we've got and all the pattern templates that I'm telling you for the jig. These are all available at John Bede um, at their bead projects and PDFs for John Bede Facebook site. So grab them all off of the, these are, these are free. Uh, the jig ones uh, are available um, at brendaschwader.com, brendaschwader.etsy.com. Uh, and just make sure that you're when you're looking at them, going to the right category, go into now that's a jig or go into John Bead templates because it's going to make a difference. Uh, for those of you who still work on the jig, you, you're not going to want well, a, um, a template without the holes because uh, you're not you're going to need those to align. Anyway, so super cute. You can just so this this uh, neck wire template comes like this, and um, we can even put this new one on here like this. Uh, I'd wear it, but I've got so much wire on here. I'm sure I'll do something like really goofy. So <laughs> big and bold. If you guys are big and bold like me, <laughs> big and bold like me. Uh, okay, so. Let's do some stamping now, you guys. Let's go down to here and make this solo. And so this is lots of fun. This is where now that's a hammers come in. And what I'm going to be using today is the double cross pin. You guys can, you know, mess around and see what um, what other kinds of uh, temp, you know, um, texturing you want to do with now that's a hammer. But it's it's pretty sweet. And for those of you guys who don't know, we call it the mullet of hammers. There's a, there's party on both ends, actually. <laughs> this is the double cross pin that we're going to be doing. And obviously, you know, we're going to be working. I like to work with this uh, this end. It's a little bit more acute of an angle. It's also really cute. So <laughs> so we're going to um, to work this a little bit. Um, so what I like to do is think about how this wing would go. And um, basically, we're just going to be doing like one side, okay? So I'm kind of going with the feathers. And then they get like really crazy down here. I forget something. I have um, oh, it's, it's right around here. I have some steel wool that's going to burnish this up to a nice um, a nice area. But I thought, you know how um, you know how a, a wing has sort of like that bigger part that comes out. Let's flip it over and use our round. I'm just I'm just doing this on the fly, guys, because why not? So on this side, I'm going to um, bevel that out a little bit. bringing it down on that end edge and see what's happening there is it's it's not as um it's not as dim dippled as it is here stippled you can see it there really well but basically it's pulling that out and making it a little bit more of a pillow effect there and let's just see here i'm going to do a little bit of more here so you guys could do um 
you know, use your imagination. Also, by kind of coming back in here, now this is flattening this area here, and this is keeping that a little bit more uh, out. Now, it's kind of like you might be thinking, oh, yeah, whatever. But the fun part comes now when we start to do the burnishing. And this is where it's kind of like that reverse patina. This is going to bring up, look at that. Oh, my goodness. All of that, those highlights, because we're polishing it. Are coming up and all of the um, the brass the oxidized part is staying in the creases so that's just becoming so much more exciting we'll do the back too now I don't think you really need to seal these but I don't think it would hurt so again some of that sealant that take I would do well it depends what you want you can do like um, you know um, a glossier one. The sealants come in matte and satin and gloss. So do what you do, right? So that's the that's the stamping part. <laughs> so hey, we're doing pretty good on time, sir. I can't believe this. Okay, but what I want to show you and now is this whole turquoise stuffing part here, and then we're gonna kind of do now. Obviously. This is this piece is different than this piece, but I wanted to show you and you guys can do, obviously, as I said, you do you, um, you do your own thing. Right. And um, this one's really bold and, you know, reds and stuff like that. But this one will be a little bit more um, sweet um, and a little bit more subdued here, but still, I think works pretty cute. And let's see here. So what I think we'll do is let's get our earth jewels out and you guys there's other ones there's like black and green turquoise there there's there's some pink quartz not everything is shaped like this i, ch I chose these because um there are a lot of different sizes and they work really well for this project but look at all these we've got some little bit more barrelish barely ones we've got some flatter ones which is what i used on um, this one here and some smaller ones so um, we'll just kind of like put a little variety down here and we'll pick what we want. Then I just took some of this uh, Irish wax linen. This is in the kit if you guys have the kit or it's, it'll be in the kit if you decide to get the, the other kits. Um, they're just $19 um, for the extra kits. So I'm just putting this in half. Okay. And you can kind of see here what I did. A little bit of cheating here is that I have a little loop up here that is going to house uh, this and then um, and then I'll add this um, this leather onto it here as well but I'm going to start with a little bit of a loop and I'm just kind of eyeing this if you guys uh, want to you could use really anything as a mandrel right but basically we want something that's going to be able to fill the inside of a bigger bead How are we doing, Sarah? Are we um, have any more questions that I need to be uh, cognizant of? I can't hear you. Oh, I just muted you. Did you mute on? Are you muted on your own on your side? I'm going to oh. add, okay, I'm adding myself to the stream for a second because oh. <laughs> for some reason it was, it was like muting me there. So let me, if I. Did you take me, yourself off? No, my connection conked out for a second. And oh. so I lost, I lost connection. So, but I reconnected and then it wouldn't, it wouldn't let me talk either. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, just when you think you've got this technology stuff down, <laughs> right? you know what? And I, I swear to you, we, we would have been on you guys a little early, but I got on, I'm like, I'm, I'm organized, I'm ready to go. I did all of this. I know what I did the other day. It was all working. And then you have to use Google Chrome to go live through this. So you guys see, I'm, I'm like chat chattering, but also um, I'm just kind of affixing this at the top, you guys. I'm just tying it on. Oh, this is like not brain surgery at all. I'm just like tying knots. Um, 
We have a but, couple of people asking if you could bring it a little closer to the camera so oh, they okay. can see stuff a little better. So, oh, and I sure. think that was specifically with the hammering too. Oh, okay. Maybe we have so to do with that the, with the wing. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, just okay. bust in if, if I'm uh, if I'm missing something. <laughs> um. So anyway, so I, my I I my uh, shortcut to Google Chrome was gone. Oh my like, goodness. Well, this is interesting because I can't I can't go live on StreamYard without Google Chrome. Thank God Jim was still there. Um so what I'm doing here is I'm I kind of just doing this on the fly again. So I'm just doing like a double knot under here, guys. But because I think what I want to do is get that um get that pendant on right away. Okay. So let's loop that little guy on. He's not so little either. I love the size of that thing. If I can find another one. Boop, 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 boop. Hold on. Oh, so here you guys can see that these, the cool thing about these two is that they come in packs of, packs of two. So they're 26 millimeter rose with silver foil and they're made in the Czech Republic, which I love. So two pieces is what you get. So this is how, this is the exciting thing that I love when you get crystal that you get it like, um, what am I trying to say? In these packets, look, I don't know why this excites me so, oops. <laughs> well, and then maybe they just come right out of the packet, but you open them up like this <laughs> and generally, there's something inside this little tissue. Ah, there it is. But the other one fell out. Okay. So, and I digress. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this on right in this big, big knot hole thing. I just think this is so adorable. Okay. One thing at a time. Also, just want to put this out there. I have a few people saying that they don't see where my comments are coming through. Um, and so they should be popping up on, let's see, what feeds did I have here? Um, Brenda Schweder Jewelry. Um, hold on, let me pull it up here. Now that's a hammer, now that's a jig. Brenda Schweder Jewelry, John Bede Corporation, Brenda Schweder on YouTube, and The Great Bede Extravaganza on YouTube. Um, my comments will do, do not post to the, the Great Bede Extravaganza and Brenda Mike Schweder. So if you log into StreamYard and let it have your name. You should be able to see the comments then, correct, Brenda? Yeah, but um, let's, if you can double. Because um, I do have, I have it up on my phone too from your personal page and I don't see, um, it was Mary that posted that and I don't see Mary's comments mm -hmm. on there. So I don't know, Mary, where are you watching? Oh, D Donna found it? Oh, perfect. Okay, we're good then. Never mind. Mary okay. said Donna found it. <laughs> oh, okay. Good we're good. Gosh. All right. Yeah. Just keep letting Sarah know what you guys need though. Thank you. Okay. So I just knotted this on here and it's kind of cute because doop, doop, we have like a little hole here. Kind of loving that. Um, but now I'm going to try to figure out how to uh, weave my way down here. And I think I'm just going to go right in back of the heart because why not? And um, let's start right here. I'm going to take one of these back. I'm going to get a little closer. And so you guys know everyone's is a little bit different, but but you kind of get the idea that you're basically just tying these in here. But what I want to do when I get to the top of any of these is that I'm going to um, anchor it with a double knot first. So that'll just sort of anchor everything in place into that hole. That's the trick. When I a little uh, a little side note is when I moved here, I mean you, it's you know it's so different if you don't live here and you're from Wisconsin. Like I don't even know how to say Choya. That's probably <laughs> calling it Chola. <laughs> and then um, and my friend Mary who, who lives here, she's like, yeah, you can make jewelry with this as well. I'm like, okay, you just like I don't even you know me. I love found objects, but like I don't even know what you're talking about. So here we are a year later, and I'm making stuff with, with, uh, oopsie, with Choya. 
So I'm just kind of like looking for like what'll fit. And those are kind of big. But this one fits. How cute is that? Now this one is drilled side to side. So that doesn't scare us, right? I'm just going to go one one way and we're going to go one the other way. So that it fits in there. How have you guys liked all this weekend? Are you guys just exhausted? <laughs> By the way, being last, I'm like, oh, man, are they going to have any energy left for this one? But the cool thing is you can always watch these on the repost. And they will be, I believe, under announcements. Or they're under announcements now, but it might be um, under files or something like that. Okay. Now, the thing about Irish wax linen is that you want to have it really, 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 um, yeah, it worked. <laughs> you basically, you see, you see that I'm not using a needle. So you have to make sure that the end can get through. And that, that was actually a feat. It was sweating bullets there that was, whether that was going to work or not. And you guys, if it's not, just pick another bead, you know. But look at that, how that goes. And it's just going to fit right in there. How cute, super cute is that. Follow myself here. And, uh, okay, so now we want to make sure that it is anchored to the bottom here. What what um, links have we not used yet, Sarah? That's Let's kind of telling me what I'm forgetting to say. Okay, um, I have put in. Let's see the dessert walk. Desert walk. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see the your Etsy shop. I have put. Oh, I haven't done beads of courage. I have done um, the heart shaped pendant, the okay. green turquoise jewels. The awesome. red wires, the uh, all of the all of the aluminum wire, yep. um, twelve gauge, eighteen gauge, and then the Earth Jewels value packs. So I have. Let's see here. You're doing pretty Your good. Your blog, there. the um, live broadcast. I haven't put that one down yet. I can pop that one down for the love ad ad infinitum. Oh and yeah. Are that was oh. when you when we lost you for a little bit. Put that one. Yeah, in. that's the one where okay. you can learn how love ad uh, ad infinitum is the smaller one, guys. If you want to see that demo, okay. Sorry, I'm okay. kind of like so you can kind of see what I did is I anchored it down to here, but now I want to fill this one in. So I'm just kind of going through, and because you're using brown uh, wax linen, it's just gonna you know kind of like uh, camouflage in with the rest of this um, piece of choya. Piece of choya. <laughs> I can't even, You, when we worked together in Wisconsin, did you ever think I would say something like piece of choya? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not, huh? <laughs> uh, somebody asked where you're from in Wisconsin. She's from Milwaukee. And so Brenda is from Waukesha yes. for a while. Yeah. Yes. So, um, <laughs> you know what? Let's do one. Well, so I'm, I'm kind of coming because I, I just had one of these guys, um, one of these packs. But I'm just like, what is going to fit in here now? And I'm coming up with some smaller pieces. But and I just showed you how to put one of these on. But let's just pretend that this one fits really nicely in here. <laughs> and then we will uh, we'll keep going. Because I want to show you how to do uh, one where it's just up and down. It's actually simpler, right? So I'm going to hold that in place. So I guess, Sarah, my question is, though, is everyone from who's watching on uh, the Great Beat Extravaganza, they are being served as well with all of their comments and and questions they can I see? I believe so. So I have the one up on my phone. Mm -hmm. which is from is from the great beat extravaganza page it's the one that pops up but it says it's streaming from your personal page is that correct uh, i think it's all streaming simultaneously so 
Yeah, because that's the one that I have on my phone. Mm -hmm. So I'm seeing the one that's on their page. Okay. So but I are they be everything, all the links are going there as well? Or um, let's We're see. learning guys as we go. So hopefully we'll. Let's see who, let's see. Penny's on. Penny, are you seeing some of my comments at all? I saw her. Who else? Penny, hi. Lorraine. Lorraine, Lane, she said she's here. Oh, she's hearing. Oh, she's, oh, I see. She was talking to somebody else. Oh, uh, <laughs> I love how you guys have these little side conversations. I do that too when I'm like watching other people. Let's see. Kara, Kara is not. Okay. Kara, so you are on the Brenda My Schwader. And though that is one place is that where they're not linking to them it looks like that's not where yeah it looks like that's not that's where links are not going so that's really strange because it's supposed to be going everywhere that i'm simulcasting to so i don't know guys why this isn't working but right. so but the links are being seen at um everywhere except for your personal which is brenda mine schwader and the great beat extravaganza certain one which one the group yeah that's the most important one that's right, right. <laughs> sorry yeah. guys so if you want to flip through oh and somebody's okay hold on we've got somebody that says she's seeing comments on great beat extravaganza so oh, but then i see another one that says we're not seeing your links so oh well comments yeah hmm Okay, guys. So we're just pretending this bead is fitting okay. in here. It's a little Hoflex bit. Hoflex just said they do not go to Facebook groups. Oh, the links no. don't. Yes. Yep. Hmm. Thank you, Softflex. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> is that Kristen or, or Sarah? <laughs> I, I don't know. It just says Softflex company. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm kind of asking for them. Okay. Oh, gotcha. So no problem. So I got this one. This is going to be hidden in here. I just want to do one more in here and I'm just going to kind of, you can kind of see what I'm doing. Just want to do another knot here so I can move on to another hole. <laughs> I'm going to fill in another hole. I'm calling this turquoise infused. <laughs> All right. Sherry's asking where they can see the answers to the questions. So where would you suggest they go to? Answers to the questions? Yeah, so the links that I'm posting. Some people are able to see them and some are not. Ah. So where can they go? Um, hold on a second. Go, yeah. if you, they can go to, now that's a hammer, now that's a jig, Brenda Schwader Jewelry, John Bead Corporation, or you can go to Brenda Schwader on YouTube or the Great Bead Extravaganza on YouTube, and you should be able to see comments from all of those pages. Yeah. Um, remember, though, that that um, we're posting to the wrong YouTube for us. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to be moving those. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. there's plenty of other places to go. Yes. Now I'm like designing, like, does this look better here or here? <laughs> All right. Let's go over to here. I'm going to go up to here so that I have something to tie around. So here's a trick. Here's a little bit of a trick, you guys, is that I want to come here, but I, ha I have to, I have to be, I have to have something to anchor against, right? So you can't just go uh, both of these through this one. You have to have one that's going to go uh you have to have something to anchor against right to tie against just like your shoe uh or whatever it's going to look weird on the back <laughs> but the other the other alternative is that you you know you can just do each of these as you go to i mean you could just tie tie one on <laughs> that sounded weird you can just tie them on individually as well okay And um, as soon as I'm done futzing with this one, what we're going to do is we're going to put the whole thing together and we'll have a pendant. Um, so this uh, this idea wasn't uh, a full necklace. I just kind of there was so much going on already that I didn't want to like freak you guys out and, and say, OK, now we also have to do a necklace. Um, 
So you can kind of see what I'm doing here is I'm just going to tie this one on the bottom here. I'm using my tongue, which is not helping. <laughs> you guys should also know Sarah is a fabulous graphic designer. She's been doing all she did. If you see up in the upper left hand corner of that found object maker um, logo, she did that for me. Um, and uh, gosh, Sarah, we've been doing so much. We've been doing more graphic stuff than jewelry stuff lately, haven't we? So anyway, I'm not really yeah. digging, yeah, <laughs> digging this on the way it's in here, but remember, uh, or what I might do is I might just kind of just make this a little bit bigger hole. That's what I'm going to do. But it's kind of, it's kind of looking pretty cute. Um, so what I did to here on here was at the end, I just added a little few little he, she bits uh, there and this, this fun little tube he, heshi from um i think it's african actually and so i'm gonna i'm gonna do that as well down here how about if i do it within camera range it's gonna add on a few of that just just to i like to have metal and uh something natural and like i like to have at least in my mixed media pieces which is basically almost every piece i do with my art jewelry um, to have at least three different mediums in there. I just think it makes it look more um, more interesting. Well, that's interesting. So I think what I'll do here, since I put these little guys in here, see this? Maybe I'll work my way back up through this tube. Or not. There's not a whole lot of room in there. So I'm going to just tie it here. That's cute too. And I make the, the knot go a little bit higher maybe. So this is one of those things where you're basically sort of designing as you go because again, none of these are uh, the, very much the same. It's kind of weird. But anyway, you guys get the idea. <laughs> <laughs> Designing on the fly is not always like the best thing to do. <laughs> so where to put this now, like would this be interesting down here? Because we have to add our love, our little love. Where'd you go, little love? Here you are. Ah, oh, that's kind of cute down there. So I'm gonna add this down here. And all I'm doing is just tying them on, guys. I have people asking if you'll be coming back with more kits, Brenda. Oh, there's some. Why are they off? For the Choya? Yeah, Do there's have some more on Etsy right now. Yeah, there's oh, there two are. different versions. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't. I thought there was one left, so I wasn't sure if there was. I wasn't sure if there were any. Oh, you mean from the other day when we talked? I think so, right? You had said you had one left, possibly. Yeah, yeah, I did have one left. That one went. Oh, that was Diana's. Okay. So that okay. one went out. Oh, oh, yesterday, unfortunately. Gotcha. Okay. And uh, I put another dozen of the butterfly on today, and I put another four of the um, the wing, this wing here. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, I got you guys. So there's more. So this is um, this is very interesting design. <laughs> Um, I wanted to see. I wanted to see if we could work with the pink, but I'm not really uh, jiving here with the um, uh, with the pink and the red myself. I don't know. Maybe you guys would like it. Um, let me cut with something else that's not quite so heavy duty. And I kind of like to do just like leave some of these uh, Irish waxed linen things, and I always kind of twist the ends. Just I don't know. I just like to have a little bit of, of fringies. And then um, all you're going to do is, you know what, Sarah? Hold on one second. Okay. Good thing, good thing I'm like right here where my leather stash is. So 
all you're going to do to attach this is you don't need any more any more um, linen, but you're going to grab, and I have two of these kind. These are different kinds of just uh, copper form. I think these are African, but I have some faceted ones as well in some of the kits, so you'll see what you're getting. Um, and then I'm just going to like dump this on there. Dump it on there. How are we doing? Oh, we're over an hour. <laughs> okay, Sarah, start uh, start figuring out who the oh, okay, all right, who the winners are. Do we have to be present to win? That's okay. So what I'm doing is I am going through this now, so this is all attached here. Also, then, I'm posting the link for the Choya kits because I had the people asking, so I figured I would post that so you can. Yes, please. Click there and purchase. And then go ahead and post the, um, if you guys want, we'd love you to, uh, we work so hard on putting that blog together. Oh, yes. <laughs> and so a couple times a week now we're doing, um, so you guys, this could even be, I just had a shorter piece on this one, you know, um, but this could be your necklace here and just using this piece of suede. Um, and then I'm just going to tie it on. I'm just going to tie one on. Okay. Just to kind of give you an idea. And then you can kind of hide the, the a little bit of this by just making a bigger knot, like another knot on there. But, you know, uh, probably what I'll do is I will replace this one with another red love. And uh, we're going to give this one away, right? Yes, we are. Yeah. So we have four prizes that Sarah's giving. Yeah, I have, a tie. I have a tie for one. So uh -oh. I have to close my eyes and... Pick one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm stressed. Did you want me to post them in the comments? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So, and then so because it so, won't be posting to two of those groups slash your personal page. Um, I will right. do you want me to say them as well? Yes, please. Okay. All right. And you don't have you don't have to be present to win. But what I will say is that if you are not from the contingent United States or from the United States. Um, I can send, you can still win the prize, but you're going to have to pay for shipping. Because <laughs> I didn't say that last time, did I, Sarah? No. No, no. I didn't. And that was interesting. She's still in love. I think it was, I can't remember, Lorraine who won and she's yes. like, Australia. Like, Shipped to yeah. Australia. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And so <laughs> I'm a woman of my word. This time I can say, <laughs> oh, right. Okay. All yeah, right. This so, one. Mm -hmm. Let's see. One, two, three. And okay. All right. So are they in any particular order? Like Yeah, let's say okay. Process. So the let's say the um this thing that I'm finishing. <laughs> Let's do that first. That'll be the okay. first one. Okay. All right. So the first one is Basma. And pardon if I like do not do a very good job of pronouncing. Um, <laughs> so Basma Abdel Monim. Oh my goodness. Good try. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we messed up. <laughs> and I will post that in the comments as well. Okay. Yes. So that is for the, the Choya pendant, correct? That's, this is for this pendant that I'm making. I'm switching out and I'm going to put this so I don't have to do it while I'm on with you, but I'll have, there'll be the red. It turned out cute, I think. And then I'm going to open this up a little bit. So, uh, and you'll be getting a full necklace. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah. Okay. I'm going to post this here. By the way, this is the love ad infinitum here, guys. It turned out really, really cute. Okay, and then the hammers. Hammers. Have... The riveting hammer. Who's the winner? Okay. The riveting. Uh, Jenny Vad Vadnace. Who? Jenny Vadnace. Yay! I will post that. So riveting hammer. Mm -hmm. Now the number two cross pin, which is the number two cross pin, mm -hmm. is Lynn Carling. Lynn Carling, congratulations. Woohoo! And one Unmas, Unmas hammer, double ball peen. This is a little okay. Cool. 
in the big one here. All right, let's see here. That is Debbie Carter. Debbie Carter, yay! All right, perfect prizes. I'm happy about that. So, <laughs> you guys, I don't want to take up too much time because everyone else was good and stayed to only do one, one hour. <laughs> But Sarah, I think we did it. I think we, we did, did it. I just want to remind everyone, if you guys want to get in on the Beads of Courage auction um, that helps all these the kids with, um, with um, life-threatening illnesses, please do message me. Uh, Sarah, you can put that up. It's b at brendashwader.com is my, uh, my okay. email. Or you can go on uh, brendashwader.etsy.com to look at any kind of D-stash things or use your own. Or just, uh, just uh, Jen... Um, Jen Cushman, my love, she um, had like eight eight things that she was just sick of. Beautiful. I'm like, you're sick of these? <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I'm not giving them back. But anyway, so so we have eight of Jen's things um, that aren't from D Stash. But anyway, those are going in. Please do uh, participate in that and don't be shy about it. So that due date is going to be March 15th. And also, um, uh, thank you so much for supporting us all you guys we absolutely love you this group is 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 closing in on 6000 people now sarah it's amazing um i'm so humbled that we are part of this group um, um and um we're just doing some really great things and we just help each other i just love being part of this group so um um I want to say too that the hammers are all available. I don't have them on Etsy. The hammers are available at frets.com, www, sorry, fretsdesign.com. Can you type that in, Sarah? And also www, yeah. I'll do this one, autofry.com. Okay. www, not four W's, autofrei.com. Um, so you can uh, support those guys. I would absolutely adore it. But don't forget, we are coming right back at you for spring, you guys. Uh, the great bead extravaganza is going to be live again another full weekend, um, March 19, 20, and 21st. And, you know, I'll be last again. <laughs> That's my slot, I guess. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for um, for being patient with this goofy vertical uh, top-down thing. I, I I thought I had it, man. I thought I had it, but I didn't. Um, and Sarah, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. My brain, my <laughs> spine, my everything over there in Wisconsin, I feel so detached. Yeah, it's a negative seven today. Shut up. Oh, God, I'll <laughs> I have to come, come visit one of these days. <laughs> I, was like, I have my, my long yoga pants, and I thought I could probably do my Capri yoga pants. But anyway. <laughs> I love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Um, we love you. Okay. We're going to end broadcast. Thank you so much. Congratulations to the winners. And um, we'll see you on the flip-flop. Adios. <laughs>